When you're a map or history nerd, there are plenty of games you can enjoy. Aside from the many video games, there are also board games as well. Strategy games are plentiful when it comes to board games, whether simple or complicated. While there are many board games I enjoy, few have a place in my heart, such as Risk. Risk is a board game where you have a map full of divided regions and your goal is to wage war by matching up dice and take over the world. You earn a number of troops per turn to wage wars, and you can get bonus troops if you manage to control a continent, or if you've earned enough cards you can spend for more bonus troops. With wars being determined by a roll of the dice, it makes it an easy game, but you can still implement strategy by being smart about where you attack, when you attack, and more importantly, when not to attack and focus more on defending your own territories. What do you think about Risk? Hmm. Eh, no thoughts, I guess. I mean, it's got a neat design, and a lot of the pieces are really detailed. That, that's kind of neat. But then there's just the, uh... <sighs> right. So, the map for Risk is awful. I mean, if I wasn't aware of this board game and was submitted a map like this, I'd feature it in my Bad Map series. I feel like it's one thing when it's something like the 1950s to have a world drawn so poorly, but in the modern day it shouldn't be that hard to print off a map that has accurate coastlines or proportions. Not to mention a lot of things are missing. I get it, there's no point in showing every little island, especially since you wanted to zoom in a bit so something like the tiny Pacific Islands would be cut off from the edge, giving you more room. And also, showing tiny islands like Bermuda and Malta would be pointless. But like, there's no islands north of Canada, no Caribbean at all, no Sicily or Taiwan, also New Zealand and the Philippines just don't exist, and why is New Guinea somehow further north than Borneo? I feel like the map wanted to zoom in as much as possible so they moved some areas around to squeeze it in more, but it's just awful. I feel like you could shorten the Atlantic Ocean and zoom in enough to keep the normal proportions for the land and it would look fine. Then we also have some problems with the regions. Sure, you're combining multiple areas, so there probably won't be a perfect name. So like, calling this area Argentina, fine. There's more than Argentina here, but Argentina is the majority of the area, so it makes sense. Meanwhile, over in Asia, we have this spot being called Afghanistan, and the problem with that is none of this area contains Afghanistan. Meanwhile, the area labeled as India clearly does have modern-day Afghanistan. This weird labeling has bothered me since I first played the game in like 5th grade. The other thing that bothers me is that this area is called North Africa instead of West Africa like it clearly should be. As bad as these labels are though, they aren't as hilariously bad as the ones for Risk 2210 AD. Basically, this is a form of Risk that's supposedly set in the future, but the regions on the map are exactly the same except they added a few zones in between continents, and weirdly expansion map boards for Antarctica, the Moon, and Mars. Apparently, East Africa got taken over by Djibouti, and India united with Pakistan to form United India Stand. But Afghanistan is still there and in the wrong place, so clearly this has a lot of problems too. Anyways, the Risk map has some problems, so how could we make it better? Firstly, make the coasts and proportions accurate. If you want to ignore some tiny islands, go for it, but don't have it look like this. Don't get rid of New Zealand or the Philippines either. I also think you should add more land bridges. I'd personally make the Pacific Islands a single territory that you can have to invade South and North America to keep things interesting. Maybe also from Madagascar to India. I feel like it helps defeat the idea that South America and Australia are corners that people can build up their forces in to win, because the old joke is that if you want to win in risk, you have to have Australia first. And you know, if we're going to connect Australia and South America, give those two continents three bonus troops per turn instead of two, just to make it fair. Basically, this is how my map would look. Obviously, making this sort of thing on Microsoft Paint won't look as nice as if it was made with a studio and printed on a giant foldable piece of cardboard. By all means, steal these altered territories and names. Use these ideas. If I saw a new version of Risk with it looking like this, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. If not, at least there are websites like Conquer Club where I can play Risk set during Napoleonic Europe if I wanted to for free. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I might do a similar video for other board games in the future because believe me, Risk is not the worst, but we'll see. If you do want to support this channel, you can do so with my Patreon where supporters can see most videos early and get occasional bonus content like maps such as the new Risk map that I made for this video. Thanks to everyone who helps keep this channel going. I'm Emperor Tigerstar and I'll see you guys next time.